In this video, I want to introduce you to the Revive Old Posts WordPress plugin, which is one of the industry standard plugins, you can almost say, for SEO and getting you a little bit extra social media traffic. Let me explain how it works. When you install this plugin, and I'll walk you through all this in a second, when you install it, it's going to go through your old posts, the post that most of us forget to promote and forget to keep doing SEO for and posts it for us in an automated fashion on social media so that it revives old posts as the name says. And let me walk you through what you would get in the free version and the paid version. The free version is great. You can promote on Facebook and Twitter and then your other things are paid like LinkedIn is paid, Tumblr, Pinterest is paid. And if you want to post to your Facebook groups, that's also paid. But really, the reason I use this is not only will this get you a little bit extra traffic, but it gives your older posts extra activity. And when you when your older posts have extra little bit of traffic, extra little bit of social sharing, they get an SEO boost. And this plugin allows you to have that in an automated fashion. And while for most people, the free version is just enough and it's just fine. The paid version also has options for e-commerce like WooCommerce posting and then you get access to more of WordPress media library and other features like that. You can read through all the features here, but let me walk you through how it works. Here is a very basic WordPress setup. And when you go to plugins, you can search for this plugin like revive old post. And the way you would know which plugin it is, is you can see this revive.social. And by seeing that, you'll know which one it is because you have some other plugins that look similar, but this is the one you want. You can also tell because they have a lot of installations. Other plugins here don't have nearly as much installs. So when you click install now, it's going to install. And so it's installed. And then you say activate. Once it's activated, you'll get a little pop-up screen like this. You see, notice on the left side of your WordPress, it says this, you have that link here now and it sort of has like a starter thing. It's gonna walk you through how to get started with it. So you click here to get started. Okay, so you click next. And these tabs on top, they're gonna to be your general setting tabs. And you click next. It's gonna walk you through how to do everything. You can set up your social media accounts and so on and so on. Now, let's actually set up our Twitter. So you can click on Twitter, sign into your Twitter. I'm logged in as, with my Twitter already, so I'm just gonna say authorize this app and we are authorized. Now, this is a blog that's basically, there's nothing on this blog. It's a blog I set up just for this presentation, but we're already connected on Twitter, right? And when we click on general settings, you can take a look at all the things you can do. You can set how often you want the posts to go out, like a minimum time interval between posts, uh, minimum post age, maximum post age, we'll say like zero just for us and all these other features. So we're going to click save. And then you can also create a custom schedule. This is how this happens in the paid version. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a test post and I'm just going to say test title, say test here just for us to test. And I'm going to publish this post. And in addition to Twitter, we're going to connect our Facebook. I'm going to sign in to sign in with Facebook. Continue as me. Be this page. And let's say done. And now it says I link my Facebook account. This is my Facebook page. I'm going to say OK. And we're back here and we've got my Twitter and my Facebook page linked. You can link more accounts, but we're good now. So we're going to click start sharing right here. And it's going to say the next share is going to be in about 12, 13 seconds. And we're going to wait, wait, wait. So it says it's shared and we're going to check. This is that post on my Facebook page. This is my Facebook page. And you see it got posted with the article and with the picture. And you see the share happened on Twitter as well. Now I'm going to delete this just because I don't want this. It's a test. But in your case, you're going to want to keep it. And in my case, I'm going to click on stop sharing. In your case, you wouldn't do that. You would just keep it going and you would just make sure to set your settings to the interval 
at which you want to keep posting and this can go on forever in a purely automated fashion completely hands-off getting you more traffic and boosting your SEO so try this plugin the free version is great so I recommend it